Hey guys, how's it going? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and the next review I'm going to do today is the 2012 Return of the Marvel Legends Steve Rogers non-variant. This is the regular version right here. Bam. I'm not going to do a huge rant on it, just like I, uh, not just like, like I did for the uh, variant version since that was the first one I reviewed. It has its problems, it's missing some details, it's missing some paint, but overall it's still a solid figure, so let's just treat it as it is, and, uh, We'll just talk about it like that. He stands six and just over a half inches tall. The head is slightly too big, but not so much so that it looks terrible. Just a tiny bit, like maybe 90% of what it is, it would have been a perfect size, but it's okay. The regular version here has darker straps and it's uh, got a really nice blue kind of dry brush, airbrush shading on him. So really sharp looking figure. It has the metallic silver and blue with the flat red shield. Solid plastic, nice. Not anywhere near as bad as the movie version. Uh, it has the clip for the wrist and the peg hole for, or the peg for the back. I kind of wish it had some details in here, especially since you're going to be putting on on his back sometimes. You can see through over his shoulder to all these rivets and things that they did not paint. They are sculpted though, so I'll give them a little bit of credit. Overall though, really nice shield comes with two pistols. They're okay. I mean, they have some detail to them, but they're not really realistic looking. I mean, they're made to look kind of realistic, but not. So uh, I don't care for them too much. I kind of wish he just had some 1911s or something like that. And I wish there was some paint. They're solid silver. Sculpted well, but no black wash or nothing. Or anything. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't say nothing. I don't like that. Anyway, that's them. They're okay. He can hold him well enough, since he has these sculpted trigger fingers. He's got no hand articulation to speak of. So he can hold the pistols fairly well, but that's about it. These shoulder straps here, I think they're supposed to be not connected, so I guess that's good. And the buckle is painted, so that's a nice touch. The belt, the only paint on the belt at all is the main buckle. All these little things and little straps and pouches have no paint on them. It is nicely sculpted and it's not glued in so it's not going to get in the way of articulation but we're missing some paint same thing on these buckles no paint at least the ankle ones got some paint these buckles are painted so that's okay the wrist one is painted so that's a plus but that's it really the paint is kind of lacking on in the detail department the boots have no detailed painting on there they're just solid gloss black the shading on this guy is nice though, the blue really makes the figure pop. It also helps these wrist parts to blend in better, even though you can still see the skin through the top there. The black part and the shading, it blends almost perfectly. The variant, the black didn't really blend as well, so it's not as good. I like this one better. The only complaint I have is, as you can see on the biceps, compared to the forearm on both sides, the shading's on the forearm, but it's not in the same spot on the bicep area, so it doesn't really flow as well as it could. That's okay though, I guess. The paintwork on the head is really nice. The eyes look great. The hair looks great. Really the only problem with the head is the size, and it looks way too old for Steve Rogers. He should look like he's in his 20s, not in his 40s or 50s. The uh, paintwork for the white parts is okay, except that's a good looking star that's a little baby star we don't like that star other than that though it's actually fairly done done fairly well the lines are pretty solid looks okay he's supposed to have stars there but he doesn't he's supposed to have lines coming down his arms but he doesn't the paintwork on the finger part of the gloves is okay not going to complain about that and the lines on his legs is actually are actually pretty solid there's no sculpting there so i'm really surprised that they got the lines as nice as they did Articulation-wise, head rotates forward-backward, standard ball joint shoulders, bicep swivel built in, double jointed elbow, wrist rotation. That's it. No fist, no hand articulation. He can't make a fist. He has an ab crunch, nice ratchet to it, waist swivel, Y-jointed ball hips, full range of motion, but it's a Y-joint, so it's not as good. Thigh swivel built in, double jointed knees ankle pivot, no ankle rocker, and it does rotate a little bit, but why would you want to? I don't know. So that's it for the uh, Steve Rogers figure. It's okay. It's not a bad figure by any means. It's just not nearly as good as it could have been, so it is definitely a letdown. 
but still a good figure that I do recommend. Let's give him a gun real quick and a shield real quick. Just so you can see what kind of potential it has on your shelf. We'll pose him like that. Good enough for a quick shot. So again, it's not bad. One complaint I do have about the shield is how far it sticks out from the wrist or the back. Either way, it sticks out really far, so I don't care for that too much. But it's still overall a nice piece, so I do recommend it if you can find it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more video reviews and other stuff. And in the meantime, keep collecting.